registered voters in the Empire State could gain easy access to absentee and mail-in ballots. And tonight, our New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein brings us more details about how that would work and also what's the next step and also what it could mean for elections. Currently in the state, New Yorkers must be registered to vote in order to apply for an absentee or mail-in ballot. But a bill passed at the end of session could change this if Governor Kathy Hochul signs it. If she signs that students about to turn 18 and moving away to college could gain access to mail-in ballots. This will really ensure that uh, folks like students, young voters who won't be in their county at the on the time the day of the election, um, or even not with early mail voting, will still be able to do that. Smicka says the application process for mail-in and absentee ballots can be extensive, making it much more important for young voters to have enough time to apply and ultimately have their vote count. She also says the legislation is a way to engage more young voters in the election process. When folks build the habit of voting early, they're more likely to continue that habit and that civic participation throughout their life. So um, this is, you know, a way to make sure that folks are engaged, but then also to continue that engagement and to ensure that younger voters have the ability to vote. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Some political experts say younger voters will be significant in the outcome of this upcoming election, particularly students who may be voting in different congressional districts from where their parents live. If you're going to college, let's say in Binghamton or Syracuse, um, being in a or maybe like um, New Paltz or somewhere, or um, or in Nassau County, you know, you you have a greater chance there of uh, your vote mattering more in a competitive district. In Albany, Elise Klein, WENY News.